Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to take a look at the Beechcraft Model 18 that was newly released in the marketplace for $15 as part of the Local Legends series and is associated with World Update 10 which is uh, further things for the United States and we'll be flying it around San Diego which just got photogrammetry so we'll take a look at how that looks. Now normally I wouldn't have gotten the Beechcraft Model 18 so quickly because oops, I already have the Boeing 247, which is right down here. And they're superficially similar in that they have similar engines and similar capabilities and are from the similar era. The 247 was uh, first flew in 1933, I think, and then the Model 18 in 1937-ish. Uh, so it's a little bit newer. And it's still in service in some places. So there is that going forward. It was produced in much larger quantities than the Boeing 247. However, the wings... The 42 Boeing 247 is not only fairly affordable, but also very detailed, so uh, I'm quite happy with it. And the reason I decided to get the Beechcraft Model 18 is because they have been giving us a lot of free things lately, right? I mean, we've gotten the Top Gun update, we've gotten the Halo Pelican, we got the hypersonic plane, and now we know that we're going to get in the 40th anniversary edition the Wright Flyer, the Spirit of St. Louis, and the DC-3, and an A310. So, okay, I'll give them some money. <laughs> I, 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 it's okay. Uh, so I decided to get it because they've been good to us. And uh, so, yeah, we'll take a look at how it is. It is from Carinado, and we'll see how it flies. I expect it'll be fine. And we'll talk more about the similarities uh, between it, the Lockheed Electra, and the Boeing 247 as we fly. So we've got these uh, liveries, and the uh, gray on red is good. That's sort of like a almost Coast Guard scheme. Uh, chrome, very nice. Uh, gold and white, uh, red and carmine red. Chrome and red, that's interesting. That's uh, almost like an old uh, TWA style thing. Um, cyan, uh, chrome and white, white, and then the Aviators Club things. Uh, let's let's try the chrome and red and see how that looks out, out there. Uh, we've got room for some peoples. Um, five passengers, is that right? So it says a total of six passengers. I guess it's fine here, especially if we've got extra load. So yeah, let's load it up and see how well it gets off a runway. And yeah, let's just max it out. Oh, we can't actually max it out like that. Oh, this actually goes to 131 like that. Uh, okay, uh, we should just max the fuel first. Mm, doesn't quite get to the top. It looks like we could squeeze some more in, doesn't it? I guess it evens them all out or something. Okay, well, we're over the max payload, but right on the maximum takeoff weight. So that's good. We'll see how that goes. Should be interesting. The one downside to these is that they don't let us uh, like fill the payload with fuel like they would have on the Lockheed Electra that uh, Amelia Earhart flew or stuff like that. Any of the record setting flights with say the Boeing 247 we can't pull that trick with. Uh, that would be fun. Uh, we've got some new airports and stuff such for the world update but I'll just go with taking a look at San Diego for now. Well, the weather is a little bit different than I expected for San Diego at this time. Uh, we do want to see the scenery, so I want to get better weather. We're assessing what they have done to San Diego. Okay, so I've got track IR on, and keeping in mind that the Model 18 is still in service, we've got the GPS, it looks like. Yeah. Chrome. I'll just uh, pause the track IR for now. It's probably more for other things. Taking a look around at the city. We want to hold steady, taking a look at the detail. Lots of wear and tear. I wonder how they've nicked that so much. <laughs> but okay, not bad. Um, a lot of times the side panels are low res, that's not the case here. A little bit scratched up window. Uh, the the interior detailing is very nice. And we can see a little bit of the cabin there.
Yeah, I mean, I'll tolerate the GPS here because it's still in service. It's not like with the Savoia Marchetti where there's no reason for it to have a GPS. But uh, Taking a look outside at this uh, chrome and red livery. We can sort of see a little bit of black. It's more uh, black, red, and chrome. And zooming in as much as I can here. You get the little rivets. So it's very well detailed as far as visuals are concerned. And uh, I'll try and make sure that I keep the engine sound up. So if my voice seems a little bit drowned out by it, it's so that you guys can hear it properly. And yeah, let's see how it goes. We've got all the amenities too. We've got the fuel thing that shows your duration. I've maxed out the... Oh, oh. Okay. Well, Well, there's, no, there's a dog cat there. <laughs> okay. We're off. Tail draggers always give me a little bit of fun, but this isn't uh, too bad compared to some other ones. Okay, gear up. It is pretty quiet out here. Yep, there's a Tomcat. Should be flying out of Miramar, not the international airport. <laughs> I have maxed out the speed on this thing. Uh, I, I'm throttle. It is as fast as I can go. It's really quiet outside. It just really is. So that's not just the uh, audio setting. I mean, it's much louder inside than outside. Figure that one out. Very clean for photogrammetry. They might be improving on things. Oh, that dome right there isn't. I don't know what's happened with that. Well, that's 200 knots right there. But now our RPM is maxed out. I'll, I'll pull it down back into the green area. And manifold pressure as well. We'll just keep it green. I doubt they have that kind of failure model. It'll keep us from working this thing up. Um, suddenly the sound changed. I've noticed this with Carinado planes sometimes. After you get a little bit further into the flight, the, the audio changes. And I don't know why. Oh, I've got uh, additional mods for... San Diego. So the port facilities have a lot of ships there, and that's added by a mod. So uh, if you're wondering, you might not get that from the photo scene or photogrammetry or anything. I think this is all added by a freeware mod, though, available on flightsim.to. So if you look at San for San Diego Navy or docks or something like that, uh, you should be able to find these. I haven't seen. Uh, I this is the first time I've seen it in action since putting the mod in, so that's nice. Maybe more ships than I was expecting. Well now it's quieter in here. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the sounds on the Caronado planes, but that has, that has happened with many of them. Okay, well, let me get the track IR going. So yeah, just taking a look around here, and then we'll see how it lands. But, it flies very smoothly, I'll say that. Seeing the engine out the window is always nice. 
So, compared to the Boeing 247 and uh, Lockheed Electra, they're very similar planes. Uh, the Boeing 247 has two 500 horsepower engines, and those are regular WASPs, whereas the Lockheed Electra and this Model 18 both have the WASP Juniors, 450 horsepower each. So, not that much difference, just a 10% difference. Uh, so, yeah, very similar planes. The Boeing 247 is the heaviest. Uh, also the slowest and has the least range of the three, but uh, obviously more utility. And then the Lockheed Electra is sort of the middle one, and this is the lightest of the three, and the fastest by default. However, uh, of course, people use the Lockheed Electra and the Boeing 247 for record-setting flights and stuff like that, trying to go around the world. and. The reason for that is because they had more cargo capacity, being physically larger, and so they could just stuff them with fuel, unlike this, which is smaller, and so it doesn't take to being stuffed with fuel. It doesn't have as big a wing, and so those were preferred vote by Amelia Earhart and uh, uh, in the, I think it was the McRobertson Air Race uh, for the Boeing 247, so yeah, that is their roles. But uh, this was the last to be made of the three, and so the other two were older. They were made in uh, the Boeing 247 1933 and I think the Lockheed Electra 1934. This is 1937. So it's more advanced in a way, and it had more longevity. And the other two, I think the, uh, the Boeing 247 had less than 100 made. Whereas the uh, Lockheed Electra also had lackluster, I need to turn off my head tracking. The Lockheed Electra was also very limited in its run. This, I think, had thousands made, so much more successful. And again, uh, still in service. Um, wait. The sound changed again. I'll try and pump it up for you guys so that you can tell. The sound changed again. It actually turned off for a second. I thought my engine had quit. But the outside sound changed. I don't know what's going on with the sound. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe it's maybe it's on my end. I don't know. You guys can like if you have it verify that this is a thing. Maybe there's something wrong with my audio, I don't know. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and land it. Uh, it's sad that they didn't do anything with the airport, considering they added photogrammetry to the city. But the airport is exceedingly generic. Oh, there's a little theme park over there. That's the flap sound. That's the landing gear sound. Oh, there's one of those pelicans. Oh, oh, we touched down. I skipped again. I always do that with tail draggers. Okay, I think we're in permanent contact now. Remember not to apply the brakes too forcefully with tail draggers. We're still going at quite a clip. <laughs> I'll take this taxiway. I like this taxiway. This taxiway seems good to me. Okay, I'll try some brakes, but I don't want to flop on the nose, right? That's the thing with tail draggers. Oh, 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 see, see. Alright, we survived. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's okay. So, my only question mark is the sounds, otherwise it looks great. 
uh, it should fly easily. Uh, the Model 18 is not like some of the earlier planes of this sort of style. Uh, the others were much more problematic, this one much more reliable. Alaska for 44 Lindbergh Tower. Speaking of Al Alaska, it might be fun to fly this around Alaska in particular. I've been meaning to take a look at Alaska and see how the scenery looks. Alaska never looked particularly satisfactory to me in previous flight sims, and in X-Plane 11 for that matter. So I would be interested to see how it is, and this might be a good plane to do it with. I think I'll leave it here. This is my first look at the Beechcraft Model 18. And with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.